rotate and scale. In both rotate and scale commands, we are supposed to give one base point. The base point will not have any displacement. So, across the base point or depending upon the given base point, the object that means the selection set object will get rotated or will get scaled. So, whenever the selection set objects will be done, then will be determined, then this rotate command will rotate those selection set objects to a certain angle as the numeric value whatever we are going to give. Otherwise, also you can issue the scale command for squeezing the selection set or for enlarging the selection set depending upon the numerical values whatever we have given. So, other than this numerical values, you can avoid using numbers entirely by choosing the reference options which let you rotate or scale selection sets in relation to other objects. So, in this case we have shown you that how the selections can be the selection sets can be scaled to a certain value. So, here we have shown you that how this respective objects or the chairs can be rotated for a certain specific angle. So, let us go for one demonstration to show you the usage of this rotate and scale commands in AutoCAD. In this session, we are going to discuss rotate and scale. So, this is one diagram we have drawn already. So, let us go for the rotate at first. I am drawing one circle here. So, here is the center point I am drawing and the other and its radius will be up to this. So, I have drawn one circle here. Now, on this very circle, I want to rotate this particular drawing. Issuing the command rotate. At first, again I am issuing the command. At first, it is asking for selection of objects. I am selecting objects accordingly. I am doing the selection in this way. I do not want to put it in the selection. So, I am unchecking this one using shift click. So, selection of objects had, had it has been done. So, I am going for right click that is enter. Specify the base point. So, I am coming to the circle. So, the circle center is my base point. From the object snap setting, I have selected this center here and object snap setting is highlighted. So, that means it is enabled. So, I am getting the center and it is asking for the rotation angle. We can give this rotation angle arbitrarily using I estimation or using some other object snap or we can directly type this value here. So, I am giving this value as 90. So, here we are going for this rotation angle. So, I am giving this value 90. Now, it has got rotated. But let us suppose I want to get it rotated in the clockwise direction. So, I am going for undo here. We are going for a command called angle dir. Ng dir angle dir. So, if it is 0, then it is it is the, uh, it is actually in the anti-clockwise. If it is 1, then it will be clockwise. So, let me do the rotation once again. So, the command is rotate. Selection of the objects I have done. Then base point I am selecting that is the center of the circle. And again I am giving the same angle that is 90 here. So, now you can find that it is getting rotated in the clockwise fashion. So, in this way you can do it. And to bring it back, I shall again go for rotate. Selection of objects as usual. And then specify the base point. So, I am selecting this center point of the circle. And then I shall go for minus 90 degree. So, it will go for this. It will restore its original position. In this way, the rotation can be done. So, rotating one object, one object from one place to another place. So, we require to select the object at first, then we mention the respective base point against which the rotation is supposed to take place. So, then we are supposed to give the angle depending upon the angle dot whether it is 0 or 1, either if it is 0 then anti-clockwise, if it is 1 then clockwise rotation will take place for the positive angle. Obviously, in case of negative angle, the reverse thing will take place. So, here we have done this one. Now, we shall be showing you the scale. So, here the command is scale. Select object, I am selecting 
is the total object I have selected. I am having nothing to select more, so that's why I'm going for right click. And then it is asking for the base point. I'm taking this center point at the as the base point. So this base point will not get shifted. This base point will not get shifted. And now I'm going for this scaling. The, now it is asking for the scaling factor. I'm getting it reduced by one fourth of its dimension. So now it has got reduced in this way. I'm going for scaling once again. I'm going for scale. Select objects. I've done the selection here. Right click. It is asking for the base point. I'm selecting the respective center point of this circle again. And I'm going to magnify this one for two times. So scale factor is two times. So if I go for this, so it will get magnified for two times in this case. To restore the original dimension, obviously, I must be going for the four times of them. So in this way, we can have this scale. We are having this uh, rotate command. And we have shown you that how to issue the rotate and scale command in this video. Thanks for watching.